Are you guys ready for our next comedian? Yeah. Everybody, welcome Joanna! Are you guys feeling good? Are you feeling good? Yes. Are you feeling so happy? Okay. So it's been a great week for me. Um, I've actually decided to uh, develop a healthy lifestyle this week. <laughs> I have started seeing a yoga teacher. <laughs> yeah, I started seeing a yoga teacher. He's really nice, he's really patient, and the thing is, he keeps telling me that I need to find my center. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, how do I find my center when I can't find a free seat on the Metro booth? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've also given up beer, so that's been really tough. It's been so hard. I've had to drink so much gin to make up for it. Like, you have no idea. Um, but being healthy in Turkey is really hard. Um, you know, having a healthy lifestyle when you're living in Istanbul is a lot like having a healthy lifestyle when you're living in a side of chimney. Like, it's just, it, it's, just it's, it's really, it's really tough, especially when you're walking down the street and there's so many beautiful Turkish girls around. And I, I feel like Turkish girls are just like, they have such good style and beautiful hair, and a lot of them have a very similar body shape. It's like very slim. And, you know, in America, we have all kinds of body shapes. <laughs> We're not that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I finally ask, you know, I go to Locances and I see a lot more men there than women. I'm like, what are these girls eating? Like, this is weird. And I finally asked one of my uh, Turkish girlfriends, like, what's your secret? Like, what are you eating? And she's just like, chorba. <laughs> So I guess the Turkish girl diet is like jarba and cigarettes, I don't know, but I maybe mean, I should try it. <laughs> but you know, have you ever noticed, like, I don't know, this is a cultural difference, like, Turkish people are very open and ask me questions. So whenever I meet someone for the first time, I'm like, hi, I'm Joanna, and they're like, hi, nice to meet you, have you gained weight? And I'm like, no, we just met, what the hell? <laughs> but uh, they're very open, they're like, hey. What's your name? How many kids do you want to have? <laughs> like, hi, what's your name? Uh, what's your blood type? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm used to these questions. It's been about six years since I've been coming to Turkey. Uh, I first started coming in 2011 as an exchange student. I, whenever I eat a meal, um, she would like, I finished my portion and then she would like put a whole nother portion in my plate and be like, I'd be like, I'm stealing the name, like, you may have stayed your room. And she'd be like, Neden? Hostel with Jackson, cook, Neden, you're like, she's like, why aren't you eating? You're gonna get sick. And I'm like, you also told me I'd get sick if I didn't wear slippers in the house because it would freeze my ovaries and I wouldn't be able to have babies. So, like, <laughs> I don't know what to, to think of this. Uh, but, you know, she, I would tell her, like, I've had enough. And she'd be like, come on. So, yeah, I ate a lot of ekmek in the house, and I really, <laughs> I really thank Nene for that. Uh, she is the reason I gained about 30 pounds in one year. Which, for people that don't know pounds, it's about 15 kilos, give or take. Um, and, uh, you know, Nanny was, like, so proud of this fact. Like, <laughs> like she looked at me with such, uh, such admiration that I had gained weight, like, in her household. <laughs> like, no one has ever looked at me with such pride. Like, when I graduated university, my parents didn't look at me the way Nene looked at me when I couldn't fit in my jeans. So... <laughs> Thank you, Nene. Uh, but, you know, the, the kids at school really started to notice. Uh, they were pretty brutal. Uh, the kids in my Turkish high school, they were all like, Hey, Joanna, what's your favorite Turkish food? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, uh, one kid slipped me a gym membership once. So, <laughs> Also, I think the tipping point for me was one acquaintance from school who I didn't even know sent me a Facebook message that just said, Hi, Joanna, you gained so much fat, smiley face. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I was like, it's grandma's fault, man, like, I can't help it. Uh, but, you know, when you're a Yabanji at a Turkish school, you're bound to get attention. I was, like, the first foreigner that ever went to high school at this place. 
and I got a lot of attention and for the first time kind of male attention which was really different for me coming from this small town in America I was 17 I wasn't used to talking to boys and all of a sudden all the boys at school wanted to talk to me and it was really strange so um, there was this one guy in particular he was kind of like he's pretty tall he, was, he had a cute face and he had this like Galatasaray lion tattooed on his arm. <laughs> I thought that was pretty edgy for 11th grade. Um, but uh, you know, we started uh, talking, and then he asked for my number, and I said sure, and we had, we had a good text conversation going on. Um, and then the text conversation started getting more and more intense. Like one day, I didn't respond to. A, his message right away, and he just sent me a text that had my name written 47 times. It just, <laughs> it just said Joanna, 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 Joanna. And this is before the days of smartphones, ladies and gentlemen. This was before you could just copy and paste a word. Like, he spent, he spent the time, he spent the time writing my name 47 times. So, uh, that takes commitment. Um, but besides that, he also sent me the best text message I've ever received. Can you bring it to me? Yes. So this is the best text I've ever received and probably the best text I ever will receive in my life. This is the, the poem slash text. It goes like this. <clears throat> Joanna more tall than Adriana Lima. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna is Miss USA. Joanna is Bacon's, my high school, Bacon's most beauty girl. <laughs> Joanna is an angel. Joanna always in Jackson. Hey, so true, so true. <laughs> Joanna very love Jackson. And this is where it kind of takes a turn for the creepy. Um, <laughs> Joanna's from California. You can meet my mom, I think we're at that point, but um, I just have one request from you. I want you to learn how to say I love you in Arabic. Aww. I was like, that's really sweet, okay. Of course, I'll learn it. So he taught me how to say I love you in Arabic. And um, it seems kind of long, but it, I think I got it down. So um, this one's for you, Majid. Um, <laughs>